Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're playing some Blue Black or Demir Mill. Uh, so Mill is always a very popular archetype uh, for casual or kitchen table magic. Um, it always runs into the issue of it's much easier to deal 20 damage than it is to mill 60 cards. Um, but thought we'd give it a shot uh, as we're waiting for War of the Spark to drop. So the core of the deck is playing around the card Drown Secrets. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library in the graveyard. And then Psychic Corrosion. So whenever you draw a card, each opponent puts the top two cards of their library into the graveyard. So this is pretty much our engine with these enchantments. Uh, we're not playing four of Drown Secrets just because we are playing a blue-black shell. Uh, black gives us some answers in terms of removal, uh, board wipes, and then unmoored ego out of the sideboard uh, for like Nexus decks or stuff like that. The rest of the deck is pretty much main board. It's just a, a blue-black control deck. So we have some ops as card draw along with discovery dispersal and a pinch dispersal can also use to bounce cards. We have some negates. Uh, search for Escanta to keep our draw going, some cast downs, some thought erasure to disrupt our opponent's hand, uh, psychic corrosion as mentioned, thought collapse, so this one will put the top three cards into our opponent's graveyard. Uh, so still want to play a couple games with this to see if this is better than just uh, playing Sinister Sabotage to smooth out our draws. Uh, we're playing three Chemister's Insights and then a couple Ritual Sets, two Vraska's Contempt for opponent's Planeswalkers, and then one Nexus of Fate, which uh, if we could get it low enough, or just with Escanta, we can keep looping Nexus of Fate and milling our opponent out with Drowned Secrets or Psychic Corrosion. Um, the mana base is pretty much standard, missing a Drowned Catacomb, so just playing that right now. And then I'm trying out one Arch of Araska, just as additional card draw late game, which may be better to just, you know what, we're going to cut that, just play another Island. We have Escantas in this deck, so it should be fine. I'm going to play one of Field of Ruin. Uh, late game, it could deal with opponents' Escantas, but it can also be a strip mine if we mill all their basics. Uh, in terms of the sideboard, uh, pretty much anti-control and then anti-aggro. Uh, we have the Duress versus Control, a couple of Moment of Cravings and Cry versus the aggro builds, a couple of Thiefs versus like, the mid-range deck, Ego versus like, Nexus or Wilderness Reclamation decks. A couple Karns versus like mid ranger control and a Neza Hall versus uh, the control mirrors. Uh, this one's just a good card, especially with like Drown Secrets. Uh, we can keep drawing cards. Uh, so we'll give it a spin. What are we messing in our deck? Oh, it didn't auto add our land, I don't think. Yeah. So we'll give this a shot. Let's get going. So as we get started, if you haven't done so already, uh, if you enjoy the content on the channel, subscribing, the little red button in the bottom right hand corner, it's a free and easy way to show your support. Uh, costs you absolutely nothing and it goes a long way to helping to continue to build out the channel. I'm starting to post some War of the Spark decks lists on our Instagram page at mtg underscore joe2. Um, once mtg goldfish goes public with them, we can start sharing some of those as well on Twitter. Uh, but hoping to put together a bunch of deck lists so we can play for the next set. Uh, so this sounds really good. Turn one, draw, and then depending on what the opponent's on, we can either search for a Scanta or a Thought Erasure onto. Cast down to clean up whatever creatures, and then Chemisters to keep going. So I think with this deck, you want to stay alive. Okay, so... Drown Secrets on two could also be interesting. Depends on how aggressive of a start our opponent has. Okay, so this is the uh, Gruel Warriors deck. Keep the land there. So here... A lot of their deck comes out on three. So just want to disrupt that. Uh, so don't want them to be able to dire fleet us, and they don't have the mana for chain whirler. Uh, we'll keep that on top. We can chain take the chain whirler from them next. Pony 
and it attacks in here. Uh, so here. We can get the mill going, or we can just. I think we just set up search for Iskanta. Try to find like a ritual of soot or something. Or even a fourth line so we can Thought Erasure and Drown Secrets, or Cast Down and Drown Secrets. Okay, so they'll get out the Goblin Chain Whirler here. Keep that on top. So here... Just get out the Drown Secrets and pass the turn. So opponent will attack in here. Let's just get rid of the Chain Whirler. They blow the Colossus there. Here, let's just graveyard this. And then... Th thought Erasure them. Want some removal. We can negate their shock. Need to dig for a removal spell. that. This matchup's probably tough. They go big pretty quick. Okay, so we're dead on this one. Ritual came down a turn too late. So in this matchup, the thieves are good. Probably the unmoored ego. Do we want the cry? So negate, they'll play like Vivian. But I think we can just, we need to deal with the early creature threat. Go down a thought collapse. Maybe two thought collapse, psychic corrosion, just bring in that. So Cry can get rid of the backside of Phoenix, but most of their stuff's bigger. So this might be a reason we wanted to go with white instead of black as our splash. Uh, we can try this out though. Nezahal's not that good. My guess is It'd be interesting if they got rid of the Collision Colossus. That is an answer to Thief of Sanity. Keep this hand. Disrupt them on two. Removal on four. Let's play that out. So they do the Guild Gate there. Just get Drown Secrets going earlier. Getting rid of Phoenix there is really good. Okay, so they have Cinder Vines, Growth Chamber. Cinder Vines is probably tough to deal with. It's going to do ping damage. Growth Chamber gets them more creatures. They're short lands. 
So we have a removal to growth chamber. Just play out psychic corrosion next turn. That should get him quite a few cards deep. So they play out the harpooner first, which is interesting. Getting rid of another phoenix is good. So if we can just get up ahead on lands... We'll wait for them to try to adapt and then we'll play Vraska's Contempt. Or just play the Moment of Craving. It's actually better because that lets us Escanta as well. We hit the Vivian which is good. So here we're going to play this now, when they can't adapt. This does prevent us from looping Nexus of Fate. Two cards in the graveyard. The Crawl Harpooners are a natural answer to Thief of Sanity. Uh, do we want the land or do we just want more action? I think we just want more action at this point. This mills them faster. Any blue draw spell then mill six. There are 37 cards in library. Keeping them off the the land there is good. Uh, let's just go graveyard. Pass the turn. I'm trying to also flip a Scanta. That's four, five. Lightning strikes fine. Want to try to catch one of the Hellkites with Vraska's Contempt. That's rough. Probably going to be just a little too slow on this. us for one, they have the two creatures, even Ritualist it doesn't. Okay, that does do... I think we're dead regardless. Because they cast this we can dispersal it, but we take the one damage here. Yeah, I think we're dead anyways. Let's just see if they... So, a little too slow on that one. Might want... where are you? Instead of the Karns, let's just put Sleep in. Against these bigger decks. Let's run it back for another one. 
So I've already posted a list for Mardu Aristocrats, but uh, let me know what you're most excited about in the new set, what you want to see played. We're gonna be trying to do. We're gonna be doing some limited first, uh, just to build up the collection, and then we'll do some constructed brews on the channel. Need a blue source, sure. Gonna opt to not play the negate here. We don't know what the opponent's on, so punish there because it looks like it's Esper. So if they don't have a Mortify, this does turn on their Escanta faster. Let's get the counters out of the way now. We want to be able to keep the Thought Collapse up for Teferi. Okay, so they have the Absorb. So opponent did miss a, a card there, a land there. It'd be nice if we drew something. So this is a little awkward here, because okay, so we got him to flip a Teferi. Escanta does flip, so if they hit a land this turn, which they miss, they could in theory play a Teferi out. They have the Mortify. Now we draw Chemisters, which is awkward. Would have liked it last turn. Here I'm going to let this resolve. We can just flash it back, but I'd rather get the selection of cards and not let them take. And if they counter this, that's fine. Drawing nothing but land sucks. Let's see what this opponent's got going on. Let that resolve. If you're trying to find a counter spell, uh, it, the one thing this does make our dispersal portion a little weaker. Okay, so they chemisters here. This is a way to bounce to fairy. So here we pay one to fairy. I think let's dig. Counter spell for this. Okay, so they escant, uh, they do hit the Teferi. So the question is I think we just need to go on the mill plan. Try to find a Vraska's Contempt. Ops can help us dig. So we're going to opt on their turn just in case they have Thought Erasure.
Let's slow this. We need to move quickly. We have unmarred ego out of the sideboard, so it's a way to get rid of Teferi. That's fine. They can take the ritual asset. Just want to clean off the top of our library. We want to try to dig as deep as possible to Vraska's Contempt. Opponent's probably got us now. 28 no cards. Probably have a backup. Second search. Okay, so we can start nexusing a fate. Basically just gives us a redraw. Pass turn. Hold this to protect the Vraska's Contempt. 22 cards. Nope. Can't have that. Okay, got two counters out of the way, which is pretty good. Give it one more turn and then we'll just concede this match. This one's probably our worst matchup between main board, Mortify. Okay, so they're just gonna exile our stuff. So they got this one. Okay, so in this matchup, we want Duress, we want Nezahal, we want the Egos, we want the Thief of Sanities. Cast down, still relevant, I think. We want to go down. So, Ritual Sit for sure. Probably trim. Cut down a, a, one of these. Thought Erasure, Thought Collapse, Raska's Contempt. Six cards. Because we want the Contempts. Thief is our other win condition. Probably trim down a couple Psychic Corrosions. Just go down the Ops. They help us dig, but... We want these because they're probably bringing in their own thieves. Yeah, let's just go down the ops. So we cut a couple of our mill enchantments only because they're playing Mortify and counters up. So it's just us tapping out. Keep this hand. Try to disrupt their curve a bit. Duress into card draw into double counters. So we can wait a turn. I think we just do this now. Okay, so we get rid of one Teferi. Okay, so they do have Lyra as well. So they brought in creatures, so cast down's not as good here. I actually am gonna do this to protect the thought erasure so we can take the Lyra. It's fine, they take a thought collapse. So 
So it's two win conditions out of the way. The Teferis are important because then they can't loop it. So we take the Lyra here. Keep that on top. So I'm not going to Psychic Corrosion this turn. I'm going to do it next turn because that's the turn that they're generally going to Chemister's Insight. Here we're just playing into their mana. Can actually wait till next turn and then hold up Counter Magic as well. But I think we just do this. This slows them down a turn. Okay, so that's odd. They didn't even chemistry's insight. It's fine. We got counter magic. Just weird sequencing by the opponent. Just hit our lands. So we got Nexus mana up. It's fine. So here, I think we want to get rid of the search for Ascanta. It lets them filter their draw too well, and this might force them to blow the absorb, so that we can catch a Teferi. That's fine. have against Nezahal. If they have removal, it's fine. We get to draw a card. This just defers it for us. Okay, so Nexus of Fate's good. It's also two Mortifies that they got down. Hitting Chemister's Insight feels bad. Okay, so they flip that. Damn. We wanted that. And they have Thief now. So we hit a thief. We'll hold this just to, f to buffer. They kept it on top as well, so it's likely some sort of counter disruption. It's fine. So this is the reason why you hold the lines at this point. seen that. Seventeen cards. Again, we make them waste the duress. See if they tuck the psychic corrosion. This isn't a fight you can win. But now we're losing on two axes. Let's skip to the good part. Okay, so we got another Teferi. Just play out the land. A little awkward that we drawing nothing but lands. As a whole, might have been a little bit too aggressive on that turn. 
what do you name here? Nexus of Fate. It's fine, there's one. So that was one of the ways we could have kind of snuck a win in. But we are too too many cards in the deck. Let's take it back. It'll be interesting if they hit our psychic corrosion or they decide to mill it. So they took our psychic corrosion. Uh get rid of Teferi. It's easier for us to kill this. They're at 24, we're at 31, but they're milling us 5 a turn. They also hit our Ego for the Teferis. Eldest Reborn might be good here too in this deck. It's a way to deal with Teferi. That one's done. Just another tough... It's hard to beat like Esper, just with their mix of disruption. So, let's make a couple more changes. This is the best way to kind of learn the deck. See what works, what doesn't. So, go down a Psychic Corrosion. Go down an island, go up another field of ruin. I'm gonna go down an island. 23 lands. Two Eldest Reborn. Let's try that one out. So a lot of this like when you're playing out these types of decks, you just want to kind of run through a couple different variations, see what's been working, see what hasn't. And then you're able to better kind of get a, a gauge. I think without the fogs, we do Sultai. Might be a better version. Maybe, maybe some mass manipulations. Because if you play Simic, you're pretty much just playing a bad Nexus deck. Come on, opponent. opponent was taking too long there, we'll just run it back a different one. Uh, let's just concede this match. Our deck's not the fastest to begin with, so I don't want to play against a slow opponent. It's a little awkward with the Field of Ruin. We can opt into another land if need be. Hold up the negate as well. Oh, perfect. Let's see what the opponent's on. Okay, so they're on Wilderness Reclamation. And so we'll just get rid of the Reclamation here. Uh. The ops are fine. <coughs> 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 
So here we're covered for a scant. Uh, if they do anything, we have negate and thought collapse. Otherwise, we can just start opting. That's fine. We really just want to hit their meaningful cards in this matchup. Uh, I think we're okay for no lands right now. Like we're gonna naturally draw into them. Another ritual, so it's awkward. And if they are, uh, most of the main boards, they don't play Hydroid Crisis, they play Niv Mizzet, so these ritual sets are just dead. So we can field their red source, but they likely play enough basics. turn. The chemister is in sight here. We do have enough mana for double spell, uh, double counters. They'll opt. Still missing line drops. I'm drawing a lot of cards. Chemisters is a good draw there. Can start getting rid of these ritual assets. No flashback chemisters here. If we get rid of Shivan Fire. The cool thing is even if they get to the point where they make us draw our whole deck with the expansion explosion, we can on the upkeep before draw Nexus of Fate and then keep looping Nexus of Fate. No, th no thank you. Getting rid of Wilderness is the best option there. We do clear off some cannonades for our opponent, which isn't that beneficial. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Get rid of Niv here. I'll keep the Thought Collapse on top. So that's two reclamations, one Niv, so they basically have, and then one expansion explosion. It's fine. They might be inclined to start sinister sabotaging our insights. If they want to waste it on that, I'm fine. They're thinking about it. Okay. So they do do it. So here... I think we want to dig for the land. So we can do both. Don't hit it, but thought erasure is the next best thing. Do I care about a scanta? I don't think I do. As soon as they flip it, we'll just kill it. Let's get rid of the counter spell. I don't want the land here. We wanted the land so we could have done both, but now we just want to get rid of it. If they just keep using a scant as an option to filter their draws, it's value in our side. 
second field of ruins also good. I think they only play. Ah, uh, they might play up to three Escantas. It's fine. We're going to force their hand. Get them to tap some mana now to use it. And it's at 28 cards. We have an answer to Niv as well. Force them to tap out here. This gets us another land. So we want to try to avoid. Okay, so they got another reclamation. They might have an expansion or another sabotage in hand. But if they're expansioning our thought collapse, so be it. Okay, so they do do that. This reborn would have been good. Thought collapse isn't the worst. We can try to catch the next wilderness reclamation. Opponents at 26 cards here. And thus, with the diversity in terms of their mana, that we can't take them off a of color. Expansions have we seen? One, two, two. So there's two more left in their deck. Uh, we're gonna let this resolve because we're more concerned with the expansion. Like at this point, we can't really. Them having one or two, they're going to get all the mana they can use. They're at 25, they're at 23. Keep drawing cards. The thief set of the sideboard will be good. Twenty one cards. Seven, so we're out of enough for Nexus. They had a stop in our upkeep, which is interesting. Get rid of the expansion. Last turn. So we have enough to field their Scanta. And then Thought Collapse, whatever their play is.
There is a play to let them look with the scant uh, about 17 cards. They're likely to hit something. Just got another island. I got a sabotage. So that is good if they this is an expansion. Okay, so they don't have anything. Just pass the turn. 14 cards left. So four. So we have enough if they had like a Niv. like expansion explosion so they probably have us yeah the sabotage is what's gonna do us in they could get greedy which is definitely a play They're paying into the expansion right now. they have to do is play that. So I don't think they actually saw any of our mill cards. That's the name expansion. Nezahal draws a bunch of cards for us. And then just some duress. Disrupt them. Uh, da 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 da. We're gonna get rid of our removal. They could bring something in. Which is definitely a play, but I think we need to be a bit more aggressive in this matchup. And then just play the control game. Try it like that. We have they still have the Nivs. We probably should have kept the Eldest Reborn actually. It's a way to answer the Nivs. Oh, we're keeping this hand. Duress on one, Drown Secrets, hopefully draw a land. Name Expansion. So you always take the Ascanta, it's going to generate him a lot more value, We're, both our decks are looking to go long. So we're going to play out the Drown Secrets here. And then if we draw a land, we'll Unmoored Ego. If we don't, then we'll Thought Erasure out this Sinister Sabotage. A little awkward, we want, really wanted a land there. So we took the sabotage here because it gives us a greater chance of resolving Unmoored Ego. If we didn't, then they would have hauled it up and countered and still got Wilderness Reclamation. So 
this will really help because expansion's the one way they beat us. You saw the last game. So taking that out of the opponent's hands really good. Then ideally drawing one more land for Chemister's Insight, and then we're good to go. They're going to get Reclamation down here. They have double Reclamation, but... It doesn't do much at this point. Like, they could blink of an eye or drown secrets. They have an upkeep stop on us. We have nothing to do. So we're not going to play the Drown Secrets here because we want a Chemister's Insight, find a fifth land, and then we can also hold up Thought Collapse. It's fine. We're going to do this when the trigger is on the stack, just in case they have a counter spell. We want to get these cards drawn. Perfect. Hit our lands. Hold up Thought Collapse. And then eventually just land Nezahal. As a halt is bigger than Niv. Cool. So here, no rush. Insight if they don't do anything. Okay. So here we're gonna have to do this. Response. Perfect. And we can hold up counter magic. And a second one just in case. So let's do this in their upkeep. Because then it taps them out for the turn, worst case. Second one, just in case. Just drop Nessa Hall next turn. Come on, opponent. Opponent really needs to hurry up. It's a weird notion when the Nexus player is the one who's slow, or like taking their time and getting annoyed when they play a deck that just basically takes forever to win. It's roping.
let's just play out Nezahal. Force him to have something. Here, even if they drop Niv, we get to draw a bunch of cards. So opponent's roping. Come on. Be nice if this card had a flush. It's got a lot of text to it, but you're still playing out to seven mana. Really need up to ten to kind of close out with this. Even if they play a spell on this, they're not going to have a direct spell to deal 7 damage. So, opponent loses that. They rope out, so we get the win. They couldn't handle the mill. Ah, cool. Not sure what we got, but we got some gems. Anyways, I think that's enough mill for the day. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Uh, as mentioned on Instagram, we'll be posting some of our War of the Spark uh, new deck list ideas, kind of some brews for the new set. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great one.